And there we have it, we have come full circle, Cyberpunk 2077 is now in full motion with refunds on the original platforms. Sony late last night made the decision to pull the plug and remove Cyberpunk 2077 from the PSN store, but that wasn't enough. By removing it, they had officially accepted that this game was broken and now have officially started accepting refunds. If you have purchased the game digitally, all you need to do is go through their website request a refund and you will get your refund. The game will be removed from your account and that will be the end of that. You will get your money credited back to you. Following from this, Microsoft soon came on board and said, you know what, you're right. Anyone that wants a refund, let's do it. It only took one company to cave in to start offering refunds before everyone started flooding in. Now before anyone starts to question why it took them so long, well both of these companies take around 30% of each sale. Now from those 8 million pre-orders, around 41-45% to was console, so you can imagine how much money was at play here, but now if you have bought it on the console and you do want a refund, you are within your rights to get a refund and you can do that. As I said earlier, the retailers are also accepting this with Best Buy being the first to say that they are going to broaden their return policies for Cyberpunk 2077 only up until the designated date that the publishers have provided CD Projekt Red which is the 21st of December. After the 21st of December, the original refund policies will return. Go check your retailer out, see if you're lucky, if you want to return it, now's your chance. Now there is obviously patches coming along that will attempt to fix the experience, attempt to fix the game. There's a patch coming in January and in February and it will be a continuous thing much like we saw with The Witcher 3. It is going to be a process and it is going to take some time. You can hold on to your copy and await those patches or if you feel that strongly you can return the game once you've got your PS5 and Xbox Series X you can go and pick up the next gen versions of the game if and when they're going to be available and then continue your experience. Of course the PC version available on Steam, Epic Games, I wouldn't be surprised if they're offering the same return policy as well. So there you have it really, it's a sad turn of affairs, sad state of affairs. It's, it's a real shame that it actually came down to this. The simple fact is the game wasn't ready, everyone knew it wasn't ready, Sony knew it wasn't ready, Microsoft knew it wasn't ready, but they decided to believe that you know the day one patch would fix it, which let's be real guys, when has a day one patch ever fixed anything? It hasn't and it never will and it's just that fact that we've got to go on with and honestly the simple fact is it's a mess and it's a real shame because a game like this, Cyberpunk 2077, which had such high hopes, it's, it's, it's entered the realm of the 76 and you know, it's, it's a sad state of affairs. But it just goes to show that you know, if you push the consumer too hard, if you continue to feed them crap along the way, eventually at some point they're going to break. And we as consumers have been getting this, you know, with the launch of Anthem, with the launch of Fallout 76, with the launch of Avengers, and you know, I think this was this was it. I mean, we saw the collapse with the Avengers and how people really, really reacted to that. But with this, I think this was it. This was the breaking point. And considering how long people were waiting for this game of how many people changed their plans for Christmas so they could have their holidays so they could experience this game day one and to be treated in this way well it just goes to show but it's really nice to see that you know Sony Microsoft are offering refunds it's even better to see retailers that actually sold you physical copies accepting returns as well so you know all in all a great effort from them in actually stepping up and doing the right thing we have to commend them for at least doing that the simple fact is it is the right thing to do Re providing an option to refund is the right thing to do because it's just not fair on the consumer. The consumer paid in good mind for a product that should be working, not the state it was in. And I'm really happy that this is actually happening. So if you're one of those people that bought the game digitally on PSN or Xbox Live, potentially Steam and Epic Games as well, especially GOG, well, head over to your digital store, fill up the form and request a refund and get your refund. Let me know in the comment section below if you actually do request a refund. If you do, let me know how it went. I'd be interested to see if there's any hiccups or difficulties along the way 
that have actually prevented you from getting a refund. Me personally, I'm not going to request a refund. I'm like I said, I, I've not really experienced anything on the PC, and I've had pretty much a smooth sailing experience, and I'm quite happy with mine. And you know, I'm just going to hold on to mine and continue playing through and leave it at that but if you are returning it do let me know and let me know how the experience went right guys i just thought i'd release this video update you all i know second video of the day but you know it's the news that keeps on giving so as long as it's giving i'm gonna keep on doing so let's keep this trend going and i'll have more news for you tomorrow so stay tuned and i'll see you then Thank you to all my Patreons for your continued support. If you did find this useful and you want to support the video and the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. And if you want to support the channel further, you can do that through my Patreon. You can find the link in the description below, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking on the join button. All your support is appreciated. Nothing is obligatory. Thank you for being here. And until the next video, stay safe and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.